This is an old Intermatic timer, 24 hour dial time switch, model 101, and this one is very old. It was made in Spring Grove, Illinois, back in the day. Now, this timer is losing time, it's not holding the time, and I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to repair it. So, right now, all I'm going to do is first of all take a peek at the gear in the back. When you look in the back, there is a gear that is turning clockwise. And what I'm going to do is very simply press this part, and this will release the timer. It's got three points of support. There's one in the corner, the other one, and the top one. Now remember to turn off the circuit breakers. You don't want to do anything under the voltage. So when you look at this motor here, you will see that this one has a couple of little tabs that will allow you to open that cover. I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver to move the tabs out of the way, very gently, just like this. So this way I'll have access to the to the motor, to the inside of the motor. Now you can see that the cover has moved a little bit and I will Put the screwdriver underneath, right here, and see if I can lift it up a little bit. And the reason I want to get inside is to take a look at this little gear. That gear is made of plastic. Now when I stop the motor, I can see that this little gear has broken plastic teeth. It's got damaged teeth. So what I'm going to do is remove that just by lifting, just lift it up. Now you can see that this gear has a broken, broken tooth and this is why the timer is not working properly. Oh. It's got broken teeth. Uh, what I'm going to do uh -huh. is cannibalize one of the intermatic timers. Now this is the kind of timer that you can use uh, for the parts. First of all you can save these two tabs, they may come handy to another timer if you ever have one. So you can save these and you will have more options for another timer. Then all you do is just wedge a flathead screwdriver and force that wheel out of the way. Brute force. Okay, it broke off. Some of the timers will have a Torx 10 screw, one screw in somewhere, but this one doesn't. It's a little different model. So I'm going to open it up by splitting it with a flathead screwdriver. This timer doesn't quit easily, but you can see inside there's the kind of motor that you are looking for. You may actually drill out, if you have the one without the screw in the back, uh, you can drill out the, the tabs, the plastic tabs, holding tabs right here. This one, this one, this one, this one, and that one. Six of them. And it may go easier. But however you can break it off, it will destroy the plastic casing. Finally the enclosure got opened and I can see that the motor looks the same as the old motor. So let's just make a quick comparison. Okay, so this looks the same. And what I'm going to do is open, open the top part by twisting flathead screwdriver against these tabs. Once you open this cover, you will see that they are the same plastic gears in the donor timer. Uh, 
and the one we want to replace is this little guy. Now be very careful because that top plastic tooth gear is actually very brittle and very fragile. So you don't want to grab a grab by that and you want to inspect the teeth whether they are in good shape. But if they are okay you can replace it, you can put it in your old timer and work with that. Found that the rotors in the two different motors go into the different depth. You can see that this one is uh, kind of deep and this new gear with a good tooth part is a, has a longer longer part. This is the good one but it's got different shape. You see this one will not work properly because of the length of this little part here. So what I want to do is take the gear the gear alone, the plastic gear from that one, that part, and insert it insert it in the old rotor. And I can do it by destroying very carefully, destroying this gear and then removing only the plastic, the yellowish plastic to the gear. I managed to cut the good gear with a hacksaw and then I, sp I split that part and removed that gear. And this one is bad, it's broken up, so I'm going to insert this gear from the donor timer into the old rotor. So this is what it looks like and now I'm going to place the rotor back in the timer and see the results. Now the rotor can spin either way. Right now it's spinning clockwise but if I stop it and move it the other way it will spin the counterclockwise direction. And now to determine so the rotor spins in the right direction I place the little flag in the corresponding gear. I place the little flag uh, in the proper place. This little part uh, will determine the direction of the of the motor. So I'm going to uh, position it upwards first. Okay, I'm going to stop the rotor so it doesn't strain the teeth. Okay, and now we have this direction. And to check and see whether this is the correct direction, I just look through the window and I see the gear in the back spinning in the proper direction. So this is it. Now all I have to do is replace replace this part uh, which I removed. And for the tabs to put them back in the position I'm going to use channel locks. Now in order to secure the tabs I'm going to use adjustable pliers and squeeze them very gently from both sides uh, and then it will be fine. Now everything is back in order and I'm going to put it in position and to place it back in the proper position I'm going to use these two points and then the top tab to snap it right back. All is snapped back into position and I'm going to inspect this little gear in the back and I see it spinning clockwise so everything is correct and we'll check in the morning, check next day whether the clock is keeping time. Well give it a thumbs up if you like this video and thank you for watching.